All right, hello everybody. I hope you're doing well, and I think I've got a really interesting topic to talk about today. So, I had something happen to me this morning that was extremely disturbing, and I had to make a video about it because it relates to the way that the elites are controlling the things that we can buy and sell in the free market. So, I have been collecting vintage books, mostly pre-1900, and buying and selling them as well. So, I went to an auction yesterday and I see this really, really cool 1902 first edition Poor Lil Moe's Letters to His Mammy. It's a comic strip of a black kid in the same time period, 1900s, early 1900s New York, going around with his friends, meeting people like Edison, you know, meeting, meeting a variety of different people, doing a variety of different activities. And this is the first main character who was black in a comic strip ever, as far as I know which is extremely interesting and extremely culturally relevant. But obviously, this character is also caricatured and stereotyped in a lot of ways. So there's positive and negative elements to this comic. I think if you look deeply into it, the character is actually quite smart, intelligent, and loving and kind. And so I didn't really understand why eBay decided that I wasn't allowed to sell this item on their platform. So they, they have the reasons they told me. You know, it was offensive. And... That's where I want to start. So we live in a world where this term offensive is everywhere and everybody is constantly offended. They're constantly triggered. And it's gotten to a point where everybody knows about snowflakes. Everybody knows about blah, blah, blah. Everybody knows about the liberals, the Republicans, the blah, blah, blah. You know, this is the point of division that we're at within this country. But to me, this whole theory of what's offensive and what should be offensive goes against everything, every fiber of my being, because it goes against free thought, it goes against free action, and it goes against free movement. Because all of this is designed to close our minds, to not allow us to think, because it trains us by listening to certain things and hearing certain things to react in a way that is not conducive to actual harmony and understanding, learning, and growth among humans. It is rather the complete opposite. It, it removes growth. It kills discussion. It kills you because we are humans. We need to communicate. We need to learn. And we need to be honest with each other. Okay? Everything about this goes against my morals. And this is not me saying that there are not racist things in here. This is me saying that in order to grow as a society, we need to have freedom of information, we need to have freedom of thought, we need to have freedom of action in order to build a society that doesn't have racism, that has what I view as true equality, as opposed to what the liberals view as true equality, which they aren't liberals at all. I'm a liberal. I'm a real liberal, okay? I'm a liberal that believes in freedom. True liberalism is about freedom, okay? It's not about censoring people because you don't like what they're saying or what they're producing to the world. So I'm being censored because I'm trying to sell an item that I view as extremely important to our culture and our history. And so from that point, a lot of people might say, well, it's just eBay. But the truth is every single platform has similar rules when it comes to what content is allowed to be distributed on their platform. If I were to post this comic on Facebook, I guarantee you it would get removed. If I was to post it on Twitter, I'm quite sure that it would be removed. If I was to post it on Instagram, I am pretty sure that it would be removed. Okay, because eBay is the last place I expected it to get removed, honestly. I know eBay was big, but I'm very surprised that they would not allow this. And this is a slippery slope that we've already gone all the way down on. We are out of room. There's no more slope to slip down. We are completely in the murky sewage, clay, disgusting bleh, of the bottom of this slide of in terms of race relations and how we are allowed to speak about race. Okay. So that's the basic concept of everything that I'm putting out today. Okay. But let's start to expand on that a little bit. Let's start to talk about the congruence that we see in these policies and how this is just a small part of what they are doing to control people's minds, okay? And not being able to buy or sell something is another 
concept that comes straight from Revelation. Again, I'm not a Christian, but I do look at the Bible. You will not be able to buy or sell unless you follow the narrative, okay? Unless you follow the idea that there are certain things that are offensive that cannot be distributed. So let's touch on what's offensive. What's offensive? What is offensive? There is no objective determination of what is offensive, okay? Something as simple as a tree could be called offensive by anybody. And this is the same way that they're distorting men and women by saying that you can just identify as a man or a woman, okay? That, to me, is a very dark thing. To a lot of people, it's a very light thing. It's a beautiful thing. It's, oh, uh, you know, we're, we're not going to allow people to, to hate. We're, we're going to get rid of hate, okay? <clears throat> the truth is, there's more hate than ever. And it's being spurred by these discriminatory policies that are doing the opposite of what they want to do. Really, it's the intended effect, right? To divide and conquer us so that we cannot work together, we cannot live together, that we hate each other, and so that we end up destroying each other on a spiritual, on a physical, on every level. Okay, so I think that's basically what I want to communicate about today. Um, there's a million other things I could touch on, but I want to know what your opinion is. Should you be able to sell something like this? And look it up. You know, of all things, it's not Emmett Till's body cam footage. You know, it's it's a caricatured black person, right? And it's a piece of history. And I think it helps us understand um, our history and uh, the way people viewed. And I actually find it very special to be a white person that produced this comic in a time when racism was still absolutely terrible and black people were not considered to be even human by a lot of people. So what's your take on this? You know, what what is the right path forward? Um, I, I want to keep going, but it's seven minutes. I know people don't even watch seven minutes. So um, maybe I'll get back with another video on this, but uh, hope you enjoyed and until next time.